thesmartlocal.com Dance, I think it's got to do with like your rhythm. I think you can eh. Ah, see, see, got, got easy vibes. <laughs> Okay lah, it's quite healthy, I think. My immune system is pretty shit. I am aware that it is probably unhealthy. I'm aware that it's fat. Oh my god! I already know my medical conditions, that's all. Oh, but you recently did the health screening, right? Health screening, right? screening yeah. I mean, you before that, if I didn't do it, I wouldn't have found out anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you familiar with your own family history? Oh, I know yours. Uh, yours is possibly diabetes. Yeah. Not really. Not really, because my family never really talk about it before. Oh, I know oh. that I got my dad's shitty genes. Look at my eczema, it's damn bad. So it's something I'm quite concerned about passing on to our kids as well. Ah, I'm sorry, Ruby and Ryan, please forgive me. Uh, my our offspring. Future kids. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, they say that your breast size and like whether you will get stretch marks and cellulite also is inherited from your mom. My mother's big buttock also I have. <laughs> <laughs> About three weeks ago, we collected your saliva to do a premium DNA test by Circle DNA. Flashback. We have the goods here. Okay, activate kit. They got so many types of reports. So they'll tell you to register the kit. Oh, sensitive info! <laughs> you have to rub the swab inside your mouth and against your cheek 10 times on each side. Fun couple activities, swabbing your cheek in silence. Shake the tube 10 times to cover the swab teeth. <laughs> We're ready to send them out. Very interested to in find out everything. End of flashback. The results are back, and today you will find out more about your genetic makeup, ancestral roots, mm. and also mm. what traits you could possibly pass on to your future kids. <sighs> Ruby and Ryan! I want to see whether I have immune to failing. Not mm. only if I stuff. For me, I don't know whether the DNA test can suss out that I don't like fruits. Like, I seriously hate fruits. Okay, alcohol sensitivity, I'm normal. Huh? Oh, thank God. Mine is higher, eh? So that means, like, when I drink it, it doesn't have, like, a huge impact on my blood pressure. <laughs> really? Ah? But however, drink alcohol responsibly. That's what they say. What? So, yeah. wow. Alcohol flush reaction. Based on your genetic results, you are likely to have a normal alcohol flush reaction. Likely, likely. Very true, very true. Tun tun. Yes. Uh, I super it on. Oh, hey, I got higher sensitivity to fat there. Oh, I got normal sensitivity. What does that mean? Hey, actually not bad. Like whatever they tell you they are sensitive to, right? Then when you click into it, right? Oh. They will also tell you what you are recommended to do. Oh, that's quite cool. The scientific bad. details behind it. Unsaturated fat. Eh? Oh, yeah, I can't eat pizza. <laughs> pizza, donut, fries, bad yeah, fats. Butter. Butter and cheese, not so good, huh? What's your favorite two things to eat? Butter and cheese. <laughs> and then good ones. Eh, not bad. Almonds, avocado and olives. I like to eat those. Carbohydrate sensitivity. We love carbs. So it is advisable to limit your carbohydrate intake to help minimize your no! spikes in blood sugar That's level. That's so sad. You have the same thing as well? Yeah, it is damn sad because I love my rice. Which means, right, the more we take rice, the higher chance we have for diabetes. <gasps> Yeah. Of oh, course, the sugar level. Yes. It correlates. God damn it! Ah! Hello, yours is average risk, oh. like your weight regain. <laughs> Mine is elevated risk. Recommendations for weight regain. What you can do. Don't stop moving, get more active. Ah, yeah, everything is red, leh. Why is everything red? I think it's gonna say that I'm bad. I'm bad at sports, you know? I'm like those kind of person that is bad at singing but still love to sing. No, no offense to Sue. You didn't even have to bring her into this! Oh my god! Lactate uh, production average. Wow, this is freaking detailed. It's you know? quite cool because like, I do play football and yeah. I'm most comfortable in playing football. Instead of like asking me to run like 2.4, I'm like. Oh. And then they actually yeah. put that, yeah, your. Optimal sport is actually football. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, let me see my optimal sports type. Okay. You football? Oh wow! Shall we play football together? 
based on your genetic results, you will likely respond well to sports that require a mix of power, endurance, and strength. And that is very true because I do not like like um running. <laughs> I freaking hate running. I tell you, I like endurance and strength because I find myself going for more strength classes nowadays. My risk of Achilles tendon injury is higher and um, I regret to say that I have actually broken my ankle twice. So that might be some truth to that. <laughs> injury risk. Elevated risk. Same, 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 same. I bottle all the time. So I Your water loss is above average. Sila always don't drink water. That's not up to me. Even if I drink, it is That's loss. All the more you should drink more. Don't Adjust know. your training plan to include more injury prevention sessions. So the only injury prevention session I know, right? Mm. Is to not exercise? Mm. <laughs> no! <laughs> No, I don't have really? um, my previous health checkup. Okay, go, go. Uh. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Oh my god. What a huge relief. I was so scared. I feel very blessed. And they really test like for a lot. Eh. Cancer risk. <gasps> oh wait, before we get to your results, let's make sure how you interpret your cancer risk report. Let's go. Uh, whoa. Oh my god. If you have one of these mutations, it means that... Oh, if you... Either as you have one of these mutations, <laughs> you have increased cancer Wait, risk. Because he oh don't got like a sign. Oh, like, what the hell, man? Then I was like, shit, why? Then mine got this one. Like the, the, the like jumps or something. That's wood. <laughs> Yay. No okay, cancer nothing. causing mutation was detected. Does it mean we have a high chance of not having cancer, I guess? Um, and also not passing it down to kids, if any. Hopefully. Okay! Oh, green, 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 green. Done. Okay, we can move on. Because it's just a DNA test, it cannot possibly be like a complete cancer diagnosis. It's just very valuable that we can be like aware of any mutations. You think I had chance for that movie? The way you eat, maybe. I feel like I might be more susceptible to obesity because the people in my family, they are like larger than average and like because of my unhealthy habits. I don't know. Higher risk, like above average? Mm -hmm. For all, I think. For I'm, all? I'm fat. How many times are you gonna say that? <laughs> I am guessing it'll be diabetes risk and also high cholesterol risk. I knew it! <laughs> yeah, like I love meat. Yeah, he's like Sour, a meat lover. Char -siu. Yeah. Everything. Oh! I have one read. All green. I have an elevated risk of hypertension. You mentioned me? Yeah, because of you. He has the holy trinity of snoring, sleep talking, and sleepwalking. High blood pressure can lead to a plethora of problems such as heart disease, stroke, or heart attack. What's the recommendations? Eat less salt. Okay. More fruits and salty vegetables. All the time. Mm. Non alcoholic fatty liver disease. Uh, limit your alcohol consumption. Mm. Choose a healthy plant based diet. Plant based? You think I can go plant based? I cannot. Oh! Oh my god! Average for all! Oh my god, I'm shocked and very pleasantly surprised. I think it's very important to note, right? Just because you are larger doesn't mean that you're at higher risk. And on the other end of the spectrum, like very skinny people, it doesn't necessarily mean that they won't have health risks. Okay, I think family planning is quite important for the both of us. And I want a big family. So I need to be prepared for that. A carrier has one genetic mutation for a recessive health condition. It usually means that they do not present the condition themselves. They are capable of passing the mutation to their child. Father is a carrier, mother is a carrier. For each child, there is a 25% chance. Not a carrier, 50% chance. Then 25% chance wow. this so like child chance is a condition. Oh, so like luck one then. Yeah. Oh my god, he got negative everything. Eh? You are a wonderful person to It's not everything, I'm just going to everything. I hope you don't mind that I'm a positive carrier for two. One is non-syndromic hearing loss and deafness. If I'm not wrong, I got it from my paternal grandfather. And one is called inclusion body myopathy. Primarily affects the skeletal muscles, which are the muscles that the body uses for movement. Okay, we each have one positive. Oculocutaneous albinism. There's an increased risk of passing down the genetic disease. A group of conditions that affect colouring, like pigmentation of the skin, hair and eyes. But yours is carrier status, so not too bad. Yeah. Wow! Number five, one. Uh, positive at risk for Sitna! disease causing mutation detected. It's the body that absorbs too much iron from the diet. Joint and abdominal pain, fatigue and skin discoloration. I tell you, this means right, you can't eat so much sour already. <laughs> I got brother discount at the sound room store. Okay, everybody, yeah, everybody, hear me out. 
Avoidance of alcohol. Every Friday night, ah, we go drink, 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 ah. You think just now, ah, normal risk of alcohol. Now we see how, how, how we want the family, family one, you know. Try lah, hello. We want the family one then. Try lah, try lah. Not two, then try lah. I know two lah. No, then what? Seven is just that. Oh, this is so good eh. Mm. It is not to say that if you find out like, oh, you and your partner have the carrier, then it makes you not want to reproduce. It's more of like being mentally prepared. Yeah, like, what can true. you do? Instead of leaving it up to fate, then you don't know anything until like the baby is out. Yeah. After seeing your test results, how do you feel? Oh, I feel relieved. And mm -hmm. I feel empowered by the knowledge that I have. I'm oh. surprised lah. I would say. Yeah. There are some things that I didn't know they could test for. Honestly, when I did it, I was like, how much can you get from Sliver, right? It's not that taking off. Oh, true. But, but then when I see like stuff that I know that I'm at risk, like, you know, diabetes and all that, I'm mm. like, wow. Oh, there was one very cool one. I actually did like a prick test before. They told me that I'm actually allergic to dust and also like pesticides and all that. And that came out. Then I was like, oh. ah, damn. Oh. This thing is legit. Does knowing these results change anything? Uh, I think probably, it gives you a bit more awareness about your overall body. But of course, it's not like 100%. Yeah. I think there's some truth to saying like nature versus nature. Mm -hmm. It's like this is what you're born with, but you need to take care. As cheesy as it sounds, knowledge is power. It's not just like, oh, okay, you find out like this is your health report and then what can you do about it? Like cry. Yeah. They actually give you so many in-depth tips and recommendations. Like, you could start changing your lifestyle immediately. Mm -hmm. And it's not just one aspect, it's everything. I think for me, what's most important is improving my diet and um, improving like my way of life. I just want to know what's best for my body. Mm -hmm. And like this report definitely helped me to like understand that better. You feel a bit more assured that, okay, if we decide to try for a kid, it's a lesser chance that they have potential issues when they are born. Actually, even after this, we can just see that doctor yeah. they're trying to make a family and then they start them like, is this really harmful for the kid? Uh, mm. What can we do about it and all that? But at least now we know like, okay, what are the things that we need to look out for? And how can we ensure that our baby has the care that he or she needs based on what diseases they might have? Thank you for watching this episode of Singaporeans Try. Head to the description box down below to find out more about Circle DNA and use our promo code for discounts. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell down below and watch all our other videos over there. Bye! Bye.